Well, good Friday morning, everybody. Hi, it's Phil Kincaid for The Telegraph. I'm here with our favorite meteorologist, Al Caprillion. And it looks like, Al, we're into a, one of those great typical winter patterns where we get these rolling storm after storm, and it looks like something's coming our way soon. Is that right? Well, we're going to talk about Saturday night and Sunday, Phil. That's the uncertain timetable right now. But for today, we're going to have a nice day. Mixture of sun and clouds. We could be approaching 50 degrees this afternoon with melting snow. Tonight, we'll have a mostly cloudy night. Temperatures will drop back into the 20s, so any uh, melting today could refreeze. So watch out if you're going to be out late tonight for some uh, refreezing or patchy black ice. Low tonight in the 20s. Occasional snow showers tomorrow, low to mid-30s. Temperatures will drop later in the day as the uh, air comes in behind the cold front. And we could see steady snow Saturday night in the teens into Sunday morning. Right now, it looks like we could see as much as three to six inches of snow for eastern and southeastern Massachusetts, up to two to four for southern New Hampshire. But all of you watching, that amount could even go down or even go up for southern New Hampshire. The computer malls are diverging on the track of the storm. And how close the track comes to Cape Cod and Nantucket will be determined by the northern and southern branches of the jet stream phasing. Some models phase the jets. Some don't. If they phase, the storm will come closer to Cape Cod and Nantucket. We're looking at fill probably eight inches plus if they phase. All right, I got one. I got one question here. I'll, the only model that I care about is the Euro model. Okay, well, let's, I was just going to get to the European model. Last it comes out in the, uh, the 12Z run, and then we have an overnight 00Z run that has shifted a little further west. Last night's run from uh, yesterday early morning. So we'll have to watch the European. That's our more reliable and consistent model. It's shifted a little further west, but not as far west as some of the models like the Canadian model. That hasn't even... Oh, we don't want the Canadian model. <laughs> we want right. the European model. I want our viewers to know and all of you that you know we have so many different computer models and they all have different computer programs and they all have different results. So... Right now, I think we are going to see accumulating snow at least two to four inches in southern New Hampshire. But remember, that can change for the lower or even higher. I think right now, if I had to say eastern and southeastern Massachusetts would see the most. Because if they don't phase, uh, the storm will track south of the 40 north 70 west benchmark. And that's a little too far for southern New Hampshire to see a lot of snow. That's been the trend with that track. But again, uh, people should just follow the weather forecast and uh, again, be ready uh, for the potential, and it would be Saturday night into Sunday morning if we get the heaviest. That's the way it looks at this time. Okay, now I, I, I got the sneaking suspicion that coming next week there might be a, a few more disturbances rolling through. Is that possible? But I don't want to. I don't want you to tip your hand well, we too early. One or towards the middle of the week, we'll talk about that Monday morning. That one may not be all snow and pots and oil. That one we're not going to touch right now. But there is uh, and there is more Arctic air coming in for the holiday. I'll just say. For President's Day, George Washington's birthday, Monday, will be in the mid to upper 20s and with lots of sun. But one thing I want to mention, Sunday, we could see wind gusts in the afternoon and night at 40 miles per hour. So we haven't had much wind the last few days. Things are going to pick up in the wind department Sunday, just so you know, Sunday night. Okay, Al, thank you very much. You have a fantastic weekend. We'll talk to you Monday on President's Day. Have a great weekend, Phil and everyone.